Now I want to move on to the last major topic I want to cover for new users that are entering the world of SOLIDWORKS configurations. Now this topic is custom properties, and custom properties are very handy for numerous reasons. You can use them to add specific data such as part number, if you have any specific pricing data, if you want to add mass properties, or really just any comments that you need to throw in there that are attached to the file. Those can be in the file universally, as in the entire part, regardless of configuration, but you can also add configuration specific custom properties. So let's take a look at the configuration SOLIDWORKS part, and once it's open, we'll go up to custom properties. Now inside here, there are three tabs. There's a summary, which can have information such as author keywords and comments. We can have a custom section and we can have configuration specific. Now in the custom section, these properties will be applied to the file universally. For instance, we can use the dropdown and select something such as part number, which automatically is selected as a text type and we can enter a part number. Once we hit enter, you can see it's evaluated to 124F362. We can also select other options such as material, weight, finish, stock size, and a bunch of other things that you can see here in this large drop-down list. Now all of these properties will be available for you in your detailed drawings. You can link to any text that's created or any numbers that are created, and you can even use properties from the file as well as creating certain links to variables. Now if we go to configuration specific, you'll notice it looks very similar except for now we have an apply to. We have this configuration, which in this case is new three, or we can select any other configuration to apply it to. So let's go ahead and select new three. Let's again do part number. And in this instance, we're gonna just say new three part number. Next, we'll go to new two, also select part number. In this case, we'll say new two PN. Again, we'll select another configuration. In this case, let's select something different. Let's just say number. We'll just say 125, say OK, and hop out of the file. Now these custom properties are available only in those configurations. For instance, if you're in a detailed drawing and you go to a certain configuration, and that configuration is listed on a table, your bill of materials, the property that you link to will be associated with that configuration. So if we go back to our properties, you'll notice that as we change configurations, the current selected configuration is displayed, in this case, new two and it shows new two part number. Say OK, go to option two, back to the configuration. Now option two is selected and it displays that part number. So you do have the option to have a universal part number for your file, as well as things like configuration specific properties. Very handy when you're making multiple versions of the same type of part, or even if you have an assembly and you need part numbers for different aspects of the design. Very handy way that you can link those together, but don't limit yourself to the drop down list of things that are there. We can go into custom properties and we can make our own. For instance, if we needed one that was called time of year. Now there is a time of day option, but there's not a time of year option. And we can evaluate that to, for instance, fall. And that property will again be linked and you can grab it from other areas such as the detailed drawings, or you can even pull that information into an assembly.